Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I think I am taking over Steve Burns' job. I think that's his name as the new host of Blue's Clues because I don't know why, but I'm getting very much like Blue's Clues vibes on this couch and this backdrop. Today has been a lot of fun. I did like a euphoria inspired makeup look and filmed like a little TikTok and figured I needed to film a YouTube video and I've been wanting to do a current beauty favorite. So when I say beauty, I'm talking all things from um, skincare, hair products, hair tools, um, makeup, body washes, candles, things that make you feel good, things that make you sleep good, just all things beauty, health, inside and out. If you guys enjoy these kinds of videos, because I don't do them very often anymore, but these are still my favorite videos to watch, even if I'm not watching someone consistently. If I see someone post like a beauty favorite, so like a must haves, I am so on it, because I just need to know like what's happening, what am I missing, what do I need in my life, you know? And if you do like these videos, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's get into it. You guys, I have so much stuff that I literally don't know where to start because there's so many things. I, I'm not even gonna do categories. I typically break it down for you where I give you like, okay, we're gonna talk about makeup, then lips. No categories today, we're just diving into it because there's so many things. We gotta get through this, we can do this together, okay? So the first thing is a pure elect. <clears throat> So the first thing I have right here is a pure eucalyptus oil shower mist. This is 100% eucalyptus oil, and I am so in love with this. I got it on Amazon, I believe, but everything in this entire video, as always, will be linked down below for you, so if you can't find it, I will have direct links. But I have become that person where every single shower I get in, Second I walk in, I grab my my spray and I spray the whole bottom of the shower, like one, two, three, four, five, six sprays. I spray it downward because I don't want to like in my eyes. And then with the heat and the steam, the way it rises up, you just feel like you are in a spa. It is so relaxing. It's so amazing. There's all different scents. I have a peppermint one. I have a lavender one. But this eucalyptus one is the one that I use the most. I used to get fresh eucalyptus and hang it from my shower head and like let the steam activate it. I think that that's more just like a bougie thing and like an aesthetically pleasing thing because it actually did not work as much as just using pure eucalyptus oil and spraying it. It is just so relaxing. Even once you're out of the shower, your bathroom continues to smell like it and it's just so good. It's so good. So. I will link this for you, of course. Okay, so speaking of things you use in the shower, these body washes right here, I am so picky about body washes. And for a long time there, I was definitely living like my absolute bougie fantasy and I was using all like Chanel body washes and very like high end where it's pretty much just fragrance and then filler ingredients. And it was drying my skin out so much and I was wondering why my spray tans were fading. Like my skin was so dry and just I had to use so much moisturizer. I have definitely become way more realistic the last year or so with just like, I was in a phase. Okay, I was in a phase, we've all gone through a phase, it's good. All right, so right here, these are from Bath & Body Works and these are the moisturizing body washes and they all have shea butter and cocoa butter in them and it's like using lotion in the shower. Now, I still do moisturize when I get out of the shower but these right here are so amazing. What I love is that the smell lasts on you for so long so I will like mix certain perfumes after I use certain scents of body wash. So yeah, I'm still a little bougie, okay, I gotta say. These are my two favorites. This one is In The Stars. This one is You're The One. I love them but I have currently 10 scents in my shower that that's how obsessed I am. I literally have probably like an additional six or seven body washes in there that I'm not currently using because all I use is this moisturizing one because it just makes your skin so soft and they smell so good. They also have like the aromatherapy line for like the nighttime stuff, like the lavender, like the relaxation, the energy for the morning, all different vibes with essential oils in them, which is great too. But that body wash I think is just very amazing in the sense of it's like a realistic price point and it also makes your skin feel so good. All right, so since we're talking about things that moisturize you, let's talk about moisturizers. All right, so this right here. This is the Kiehl's Creme de Corpse Body Moisturizer. This is a moisturizer that I have used for years and years and years and for some reason it's one of those products that sometimes I'll forget to repurchase for like a few months and then when I get it again I'm like why did I stop using this in the first place? It smells so incredible in the sense of it doesn't smell fake. It doesn't smell like there was an added scent. It just smells like natural oils. And like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I don't even know what the ingredients are on this. I've never even looked, but it's soy milk and honey whipped body butter with shea and jojoba butters. And it just literally smells like that. It doesn't smell like any added fragrance. It doesn't smell fake. You know what I'm saying? It smells like you're rich. That's what it smells like. Like, oh honey, just went to the spa, she smells good. And the thing about it is it doesn't leave your skin greasy or oily feeling, but it genuinely is so moisturizing and it makes your skin feel good all day. So I would say that this is like my favorite 
body moisturizer of all time. And I also think that it's good for people who are normal to dry. Like it's definitely not like this thick, crazy moisturizer that you're gonna be like, oh, I feel gross and sticky. Like it sinks into the skin, it's amazing. But with that being said, this right here, those of you who grew up with your mom's buying Palmer's cocoa butter, I need you to leave a comment right now because this was my childhood, Palmer's cocoa butter. My mom had it in every form, the oil, the pump. When I smell this, I'm like, oh my God, like the memories, oh my God, the memories that come back to me every single time I use it. So you can see I like dug through the entire side of it in the center. So this right here, this is not a normal moisturizer. This is extremely thick and oily. So let me see exactly what this is called. Okay, so this is the Daily Skin Therapy and it says heals, softens, relief, rough, dry skin for 24 hour moisture. So this is not an actual lotion. This is for someone who's dealing with something really aggressive, like extreme patches of dry skin, maybe super dry elbows. For me, it's my hands and my feet, especially when I tan. It is going to leave an oily residue for like 10 to 15 minutes, but that's why I love it. I feel like my hands look really, really good after I sunless tan, even when I use super, super dark formulas because of the fact that I use this as soon as I'm done. I rub it all over my hands all over my feet and it's just so moisturizing. My hands feel so good for a long period of time, but you are not gonna only use this on your entire body. This is just simply something that you will use on like targeted areas. But if you are dry, the price is right and it's super good and the ingredients are not bad at all. And if you grew up with it, the smell is just so good. Okay, so I am definitely someone who struggles with very dry, feet. It does not matter what time of the year it is. My feet are always dry. And for that, I am always wearing like fluffy socks and I moisturize my feet, mm, I would say twice a day. And if not twice, minimum once a day, but a lot of times twice a day. And I wear fluffy socks because it makes my feet feel like super good. I take them off and then my feet aren't like crusty because <laughs> I struggle with having dry feet. I have my whole life. This right here is by the brand Sanitas. You guys know how much I love this brand. I've raved about this brand at this point. It's been like eight years since I've been talking about it, like 11 years since I've been using it. It is pharmaceutical grade skincare. I also sell it on my website because of the fact that there are so many like fakes because it is pharmaceutical grade. So iminute.com is where you can purchase it, but you can also get it at a lot of like local salons and spas and stuff like that. This is the foot repair cream and it is so um, amazing because it's so hard to find a good foot cream that really works. I always think of Mean Girls whenever I think of foot cream. I always, like I can't even say the word without thinking of Regina George putting foot cream on her face. We gave you foot cream instead of face wash. This one is really good. Also the L'Occitane one, I love that one as well. I think I've talked about that in the past, but L'Occitane has an amazing foot cream as well. But this one, it just, I put it on before I go to sleep and my feet feel so good all night long. And it says on it, foot repair, and it says a cracked heel balm. So a tiny bit of this is all you need, not, not even a size of a quarter, put on the bottom of both of your feet, you're good to go. And it's very healing, the ingredients are also Amazing. Okay, so let's get into hair. This is something that I personally have been struggling with for a while now, which is having to fill in my hairline on both sides, especially my right side, because I sleep on my right side no matter how hard I try to fall asleep on my back or on my left side. I always end up waking up with my face jammed to my pillow on my right side. I also have a silk pillowcase. It's just frustrating because like nothing stops me and nothing works. And I feel like I'm like balding right here. So I will fill this area in with eyeshadow and I will also use use root. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, I lost my ring. I will also use root cover-ups right here. So these are two totally different price points. This one right here is by L'Oreal Paris. This is the dark brown shade. It's called the Magic Root Cover-Up. This one right here is by Rita Hazan. I will say the Rita Hazan one is more expensive. It's sold at Sephora, I believe. I'll link it for you guys, of course. But the Rita Hazan one does work way better than the L'Oreal. But if you're on a budget, then this one will definitely do the trick. You're just gonna have to use a little bit more of it. This is a lifesaver. So like for instance, today, like I put my hair up like this and then I will like hold my hand here so it doesn't get on my face and I'll just spray like that. And just like a little bit, like if you see my part right there, I will just go like, like that. And then I will take my finger. I don't wanna do it right now cause I don't really have any place to blend it out. Oh, well, I'm still doing it. I'll like take my finger and just kinda like push it around like that. And then it just covers everything up. I didn't mean to cover up my part. I wouldn't have done that typically, but I did it just to demonstrate what this does. But it's amazing. I've been using them both for years. So if you're someone who needs to fill in your hairline, which I feel like at this point, a lot of people, like the majority of people I know want to fill in their hairline because it's just not perfect and it is what it is. And we're not all out here trying to get hair transplants, okay? Sticking with hair. I did a TikTok talking about um, like a dry shampoo trick that I've been using since I was a teenager. So many people 
people in the comment section was asking me what dry shampoo I was using, and that is by the brand Amika. This is their Perk Up dry shampoo. I swear, you guys, I can't say I've used every dry shampoo, but I've probably used 20 different dry shampoos minimum in the last year and a half just on my search of finding the best ones. Even like brands that I've never heard of in my life, I'll see people talk about it. And I'm like, I'm getting it, I'm trying it because I hate washing my hair. That's just me, I hate washing my hair. I'm half Cancer, half Leo. I hate to admit it, I hate to admit it. Call myself a Cancer because I am a Cancer, but technically I am on the cusp, I'm half Leo, and I swear the Leo in me, the lion in me does not like to be wet. <laughs> That's what she said, but that also ain't true. I genuinely cannot stand washing my hair. So I'm always looking for an amazing dry shampoo. And this one right here is really, really good. I love this one, I love the IGK one, and I love the Dove, so good. So if you're looking for a great shampoo, it smells good, it does not leave like a super awful white residue, it's very light and easy to get out, and it works. So we are gonna stick with hair, because we're on that subject. You guys, I think that Kenra is now my favorite hair brand at the moment. I just feel like everything that they create is so on point. I haven't tried their shampoos or anything like that, but all of their hair styling products, I hate that I don't have caps on these things. It makes me crazy, but that's fine. This is the Dry Volume Burst. It says Instant Soft Hold Volumizing Spray, nine times the volume. So if you are looking for a texture volumizing spray, huh, nay. Like, you get done curling your hair, toss it upside down, take this. It is so incredible. Oh, it smells so good. Anyways, that's all you need. It's just a few little squirts. Tossle, 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 flip that bitch up. You are good to go. The volume is incredible. And when I tell you like a volume product is good, I mean it, because I have such flat, fine hair. If you guys ever, which you've never, you've never, ever, ever seen my hair without product. If you saw my hair without product, you'd be like, that's not her. My hair, if I just didn't put anything in it and let it just dry by itself, it is so, Flat, oh, it's like hay, but not dry. Just imagine just like a dead worm on my head. That's what it looks like. I love my volume products because I need it and this one is one of the best. Same brand, we're talking about Kenra right now. This is the last product I have by them, but this is just a volume spray, super hold finishing spray, meaning this is a hairspray. So this right here is like what I use. See this little front piece right now? Cause I was definitely very much like trying to have like a matty moment from euphoria. So all I need, if you notice like these two bangs are not separating. Typically this bang right here would be like totally like this, like all over the place in my face. So all I did to get that to stay in place, like this little trendy moment is just held it like that and just, and it is not gonna move. It is so super hold. But at the same time, what I love about this, unlike some other brands, like a big yellow can of got to be spray where it's like glue. Unlike that, this, if you wanna brush it out, it brushes out unlike it was ever there. It doesn't leave white residue. It doesn't leave crustiness. It doesn't stay hard. Like I can spray this and it will not move. But then if I wanna like totally recreate my look, I can brush it out. And it's like, this was never even in my hair in the first place, which is why I think it's so good. This scrunchie, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this scrunchie right here. I don't even actually technically know what it's called. I get too confused, there's too many things out there, but this was in my box of the holidays that I did with my kitsch. It's what I'm wearing in my hair. Right now, people are always asking me what I use to create such a big full bun, and really, you guys, it is this. It is this scrunchie, because it is so big and it's so fat. It's even cute when you have it on your wrist. It's very just like, <laughs> you know? It comes in a couple of different colors. I have them all in black. I need to order a few more, actually, because I've had these for so long at this point that they're like getting stretched out. But I just double wrap this like that on the top of my buns or my ponytail Like that's what I did right now. It just makes you just gives you more volume. It just looks super cute Even if you're doing a ponytail, it just makes it stick out a little bit further I'm super over just a lame ass ponytail with like a little itty bitty band and it just like lays on your head Just like a dead cat. I sorry. I had to say cat because like I, I just I, I don't I'm not gonna say dog I don't like cats. I know and subscribers are just gonna go down, but I just, I don't like cats, I'm not a cat person. I do like kittens, not cats. Yeah. This right here, very expensive, but I'm talking about it because it is so worth it. This is the GHD straightener. Honey, I've never in my life ever used a straightener as good as this one for so many reasons. I am not sponsored by them, by the way, just so you know, but I will say that I think that GHD is probably overall the best brand of hot tools on the market, not just because of the way they perform as your styling, but the amount of time that it lasts. Like when I use their curl 
curlers, my curls last so much longer than when I use like a Hot Tools brand. And that's what we're trying to achieve, right? Like we're spending that price because not only do we want our hair to look good, we want it to last and look good for a long period of time. And I think that that's really the difference in GHD compared to a typical brand where you can buy like a straightener for 50 bucks, you know? What I love about it is first of all, it heats up so fast. If you are in a rush, you turn this on. I'm not kidding. You can count to 10 and it will be completely 100% heated up before you even get there. It might take five or six seconds to fully heat up. So if I'm in a rush and I'm panicked and I'm like, oh my God, I plug it in, I turn it on. I'm just like, okay, it's ready. It, like it, it is that fast. It's amazing. And also it does not make my hair flat because I have some straighteners where like not only does it straighten it, but it makes it so pin straight and so flat. This keeps some volume in my hair where I'm able to kind of like tossel it and it still has like, you know, some volume, some movement, some texture, which I think is amazing. And it, I'm just telling you, it's the best straightener I've ever used. I own tons of them. I think I owned a total of five different brands and I got rid of all of them. And this is the only straightener that I have left because it is all I need and it is so worth the price. It's so good. So I have like other categories before jumping into them. I'm going to talk about this because it's so random and it doesn't have a category. It is by the brand Slip and it is a eye mask, like a face mask right here. The reason that this is so incredible is because it has these little eye pockets. So like I, I don't use eye masks when I sleep, but I use them when I travel on planes. What I love is that they do not smash your eyes or your eyelids. So let's say you have lashes on, you know, if you're someone who likes to put on makeup before you fly, not me. I did that when I first started dating Jordan. Like. I would go to LA and then like have like come home and he'd pick me up from the airport and I like do a full face of makeup before the red eye because I like wanted him to pick me up at five in the morning and I like looked perfect. Now I'm like, maybe this is who I am. Just looking like a hot mask. But what's so great is because you have those little indentions, it literally does not feel like you have a mask on. Like you put it on and you feel nothing on your eyes at all. Like you can fully open your eyes. Like I have on long lashes right now and I can fully open up my eyes and I do not even feel my lashes bumping anything. So it's like, even if you wake up, you're just like in darkness. I don't know. It's just, it's so amazing. Like when you're on a flight, oh, there's something about it. Okay, this is another random thing that doesn't really have a category to fit in. So I'm just gonna talk about it now. And I've talked about it many times, but I'm going to continue because if you are someone, if you're like an entrepreneur online and you want good photos, if you're trying to take makeup photos, vlogging, I don't care what it is. If you're someone who's showing your face on camera at any point, this is the vibe. Even if you're taking photos of product or your kitchen or I don't care what it is. This is so incredible. It's a little aperture light. It's tiny as you can see, and you can download the app, but you can also just do it right here manually with your finger. You can change the color from cool. You can change it to warm. You can press this button. You can dim it. You can change it to any color on the entire RGB color wheel. Plus you can take this off if you need it to be even brighter. Like. Let me just show you. I've already, I've done this a million times, but I'm still gonna do it again. Let me show you, like, if I hold this up to my face, the difference. Like, if we turn off all the lights right now, it's in the pitch black, this right here, it is so powerful. You can literally be in the dark, like not one light around you, and you will look incredible with this light on you. I basically don't take photos of myself anymore without this because it just, hits the face so well and just shows every little detail like in the best way possible. So I get this on Amazon, it sells out a lot, but I will link it down below for you guys because they restock very quickly and it is just, it's so necessary. I own three of them, maybe four, but I need them everywhere in my house. <laughs> Okay, so before getting into makeup and cosmetics, let's talk about a couple more things. So random, but we're talking about all things beauty, right? So I wanna share some little things and secrets that have helped me feel good internally. This right here is liquid aloe vera. It's called aloe gold. Now, I don't actually know where you can buy this in person. I will find a place that is legitimate and I will link it for you down below in case you're curious. It's not expensive um, and it doesn't expire for almost like an entire year. You keep it in your fridge after you open it up and it's literally, liquid aloe vera and it says right there on the front it's for a healthy gi formula dietary supplement and then you can of course see all of the ingredients there on the back it's just very very good for you and if you deal with any digestive issues whatsoever this is the vibe the amount of people that i have recommended this to and it has literally changed the way they're able to eat and change their stomach and like their acid production ibs it is just so amazing and it's completely natural it's just aloe juice um but this has been something that i have 
have like really when I when I forget about it I'm like, oh god, that's why that's why my stomach is so upset Like I gotta do that so you can take a couple shots of this a day It doesn't taste great, but it doesn't taste disgusting I mean if you're like a little baby you might be like this is gross like I don't care if it's good for me I don't care. I'll sink it back. It's not a big deal. Hello Like I'm used to I've been drinking vodka for the past four years every single day I can pay, basically take anything back at this point But if you are someone who struggles with digestive issues definitely look into this do not just take my advice and buy it look into it make sure the ingredients are okay with you you know but you don't need a prescription or anything you can just purchase it i get it from like some random place here in tampa all right another thing like this i don't know where you can buy this i know you can buy it at many different places because i've seen a lot of people use this brand but this is just electrolyte powder that's all it is now don't get me wrong there are so many different ways of getting electrolytes out there and i'm no nutritionist i'm no doctor i'm not going to tell you what to do and what not to do but for me personally i want electrolytes that is like zero sugar zero everything just pure electrolytes and that's what this is right here i believe it's the brand designs for health i don't know where you can actually get it but my point of showing this is just electrolytes in general i know for a fact it's not a placebo the way i feel drinking electrolytes every day has just helped me so much i fill up like my entire high hydro flask with like a heaping scoop of this right here. And then I drink it within like an hour. Like I guys kind of sip on it because it's a lot of water that I, I put with it. I drink it throughout an hour and just the way I feel, I'm so hydrated and I can just feel it in my body. And the way after I drink it every day for several days, the way I just feel clear, and my brain is not foggy and I'm just sharp. Like I'm so into it right now. Like I just, I love drinking electrolytes. I used to drink Pedialyte and now I'm like, that does not do anything, not compared to this. This, you just feel good and you pee constantly. And I'm like, we're hydrated. We love a hydrated queen. We really do. Last but not least of like the random category is this collagen fuel right here. Jennifer Garner recommended this. Like she made a protein shake and I bought it. One of my employees told me how incredible it was. It is amazing. It's by Primal Kitchen. It is called Collagen Fuel. It's for hair, skin, and nail support, of course. And the flavor is chocolate coconut. It is keto. It is paleo friendly. There is no dairy, whey, or soy. It is 10 grams of collagen. It's got protein. And you guys, it is amazing. Oh, it smells like cocoa powder. It smells like milk, chocolate, and coconut, and it's so good. Jordan makes so many yummy shakes with this. You can also just put it into a glass of water and shake it up. You can drink it however you want. It's just good for hair, skin, and nails. We'll do like some almond milk, water, ice cubes, like a little almond butter, and like berries with this, and it's just, tastes like a dessert. It's like a treat, you know, but also good for you. So then we have a new sunless tanner that I have been using, which is crazy that I'm talking about a sunless tanner on here that is not Loving Tan. It's insane because Loving Tan has been like my favorite. I've talked about so many. I've tried so many, but I always go back to Loving Tan. It is the best, but this one right here is so beautiful. It is the brand Filter. It is by Molly May. I recently started following her on social media um, at the end of last year, and she has just got like the coolest cutest style seems like such a cool chick and this is her brand filter this is in the shade extra dark and it is completely gone there's like barely anything in there can you hear it <laughs> it's just like a little tiny bit left i went through this entire bottle in the last couple of months and it is so beautiful the way it applies let me show you like my arm because i have it on right now i put it on constantly it's a really beautiful golden base now i am using the darkest one because i am so 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 fair you guys like i am like basically as white as this couch right now and this is everything that you see is spray tan it is this so i use this by itself i also mix it with loving tan because i love loving tan and i also love the undertone of loving tan so much but everything about this is gorgeous like i've only used the extra dark so i can't talk about the other shades but this it applies beautifully it lasts beautifully it fades beautifully i love it so if you guys have not heard of filter you guys should check it out i don't know if it's in any stores and i honestly don't even know where to buy it i'm gonna figure it out and link it for you guys down below because she did send this to me but i'm about to buy more because hello I'm out. So I'm gonna buy several more bottles of these. I have three perfumes that I have to talk about. I hate talking about perfumes online because you can't smell them, but I hope I inspire you next time you're at the mall or Sephora or Ulta or something to grab one of these and smell them. Actually, none of these are available at Ulta, so I take that back. But like Nordstrom, Sephora, and even Marcus, wherever. These are my current three favorite perfumes. I'm not kidding you guys. I'm not being dramatic when I say I wake up in the morning and I'm excited, like which scent am I going to be today? What is gonna be my scent of the day? I gotta match my outfit around the scent. I gotta match my entire attitude around the scent. I love fragrances so much, and I can guarantee you, if you meet me, I smell good. 
The first one right here is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I know this has been going around crazy on the internet recently and that is for good reason. It is so amazing. Okay, so my scent like for life is Baccarat Rouge. 540. That's my scent. I've been wearing it for over three years at this point. I've gone through probably five bottles of it. I love it. I love like that, that perfect amount of like sexy mean like meat sweet, but like it can't be too sweet. Otherwise I'm going to gag. So this right here, the Tom Ford Lost Cherry, when you first initially spray it, it's very sweet on the skin. Got to give it like 15 minutes. And then all of a sudden it just becomes so sexy and like such like a nighttime, like feminine womanly vibe. Like I will say if I smelt this, I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just being honest because I'm very, very passionate about fragrance and there's a fragrance for everybody. If I smelt this on like a 15 year old, I'd be like, that is not you. Like that is not right for you. It is like a woman scent. Like you have to earn womanhood. It doesn't just happen when you get your period. You gotta earn it. You gotta go through some shit. You know what I'm saying? This right here is that. It is just like sexy. It's womanly. It's feminine it just like it's very attractive you know what i'm saying jordan loves it when i wear it he compliments me all the time which he's not that complimentary when it comes to perfumes and it makes me crazy because i'm such a scent girl i compliment his scent all the time like even if he hasn't showered in like a day and a half which never happens i would still just be like I love the smell of your sweat. Like, I just love scents. And he's not like that, but he does compliment this all the time. Next one is by Ellis Brooklyn. And this is the scent Myth. Oh, there's something about this one that just gets me so horny. Oh my God. You guys, there's something about this. It like paralyzes me internally. It is so amazing. So my employee, Megan, she was wearing the scent one day at the office. It was like radiating. Every time she walked by, I was like, what are you wearing? She had no clue. She's like, oh, I had a sample from Sephora and I just sprayed it today. I don't even know what it's called. And I'm like, you go home and you find that sample right now because I was just like, I want to kiss you. Like I very much just want to like hold you right now. You smell so good. Four days later, I'm like, hi, you still haven't told me what fragrance you were wearing. So she found it. And then I got a sample. I used the entire sample. And then I bought the full size bottle because it is that good. It is just so fresh with a little bit of warmth and it is just yummy. Like every single time I open it up, it is so good. This is definitely like, I know these three are like my top three right now, but this is just like a whole different level of incredible. It's not like so fresh that it smells like laundry. It's just incredible. Okay. Last one. I got the smallest bottle because it's a very, 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 very expensive. So I did not want to spend like full price because I think just this was like $60 or something like around there. This is by Le Labo. So I did not know if I was going to like this because I've smelt many of their scents and they all disgusted me. But this one right here is Neroli 36 and it is very much gardenia, but I do not like the smell of gardenia and perfumes like ever, but whatever the other notes are in it, oh, it just comes together. It is so fresh. It is very spring. As in the other one by Ellis Brooklyn, the myth one, that one is very just like warm fresh where it can be worn all day, all night, all year. To me, this is a very spring, summer, fresh, clean morning scent, but also there's florals in it. It is just like you are in a pure white dress, minimal makeup in a garden. Just a little bit of wind in your hair, but not too much. Very Vogue, very Margot Robbie. If she were just to slow motion walk for Vogue, that is this, all right? You get it? If you don't, then I can't help you. Last but not least, ah, let's talk about makeup. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay, this is a peach and lily setting spray. I made an entire TikTok about it because it is so amazing. It's called the Glass Skin Veil Mist Hydrate Plus Glow. So it's hydrating and it's glowy. It look, makes your skin look so beautiful. I'm pretty sure that I am highly allergic to it, which makes me so sad. But this is my life. You guys know if you follow me for a long time, I have extremely, extremely sensitive skin. Everything gives me issues. Jewelry gives me hives and turns me green. Makeup gives me breakouts and hives. I mean, it's just, I'm just, I'm a sensitive girl. This right here though, if you are not sensitive, this is such an amazing setting spray. So it's not gonna like necessarily make your makeup last longer. It's just gonna make it look bomb. Like so glowy, so hydrating, so beautiful. If you have not followed me on TikTok, please go check it out. It's right here, Jack Attack, that's me. Go head over there and you can see my TikTok and see how incredible my skin looks. I use no filter on that whatsoever to show you. It is amazing. So I highly recommend it. I'm just so sad because I'm 99% sure this is what really messed up my skin the last two weeks because I was just covered in like red, itchy bumps and hives. And so <laughs> I'm so sad, but 
I still recommend it. Okay, I gotta talk about my Skin Perfecting Blurring Tint. This is such an incredible product. If you guys have not heard of it yet, I don't wanna talk about too much of my stuff today, so I kinda wanna like keep it to like the things that like are my absolute must-haves. This right here, I use the shade Medium with the shade of my skin tone right now. You can use this as a primer or you can use it completely alone. I typically use this with my fingers or just a beauty sponge, like two pumps for the entire face, a little concealer, and that's it. I also did a TikTok where I was wearing just this. I'll show you like a little clip of it right here. I'm wearing just that, like I brushed up my brows, like very, very, very natural face. So you can see like the glow that this gives. It is not a tinted moisturizer. It is not a concealer. It is not a foundation. It is a skin blurring tint. It's made just to add a little bit of coverage, but more than anything, just filter the face and give a glow and a very hydrating look. Just kind of like an in life filter. That's really all this is. It's a very unique product and it can also be used as a primer and it is just so beautiful. I'm very proud of this product and I know that the people who own it love it. I just wish more people knew about it. You know what I'm saying? It's very hard to tap into the complexion industry. I knew that going into this, but it is seriously so pretty. Okay, so keeping it with skin. This right here is the Nimia Wear All Starts Cream. This is such a beautiful primer. This is Nikki Tutorial's brand. I'm so happy for her because it is so incredible. And she's like known for priming. Like she's the one who made us rub. What was it that we were rubbing on our face? Was it like jock cream or something? Or like, what was it? Someone tell me. She was making us rub something on our face like five or six years ago as a primer and it worked so well. And I can't even remember was it what? I'm like, was it a vagina cream? Like, what was it? But it worked. But this right here, I'm so happy for her because this is such a beautiful primer. It's a nice, thick primer. It adds such a gorgeous glow to the skin. You could wear it by itself. And then it's like the perfect amount of tackiness because you want a tackiness in your primer, you know? And the foundation just really latches onto it and it looks so beautiful. And I'm so happy for her because it's great. And and her packaging is amazing too. And then along with Nimia, I gotta give a shout out to this fan. It is so underrated. I am not seeing enough people talk about this. So I actually looked in with my brand, Jack and Cosmetics, into creating a fan probably four years ago. Cause you guys know, like I started using a fan and I was like, oh my God, this works. I used to use like a big fan that sat in front of me to keep me cool. And then I like found a small one. I started using that. So I tried to create one and I could not create one that I liked for the right price. So when this came out, I was so curious to see what it was gonna be. And you guys, the fact that it is so tiny, I take this with me everywhere I go. Every time I travel, I leave the house, I take this with me because it is so itty bitty. It is tiny, but it is mighty. Listen to how intense this gets, ready? Itty bitty, this is level one. Level two. Level, level three. I mean, like, can you see what this does? This tiny little fan, the power in it is amazing. I'm like, I don't need any other fan. Like, this is it. It is tiny but mighty. If you're looking for a fan to dry your face when you're all done with setting it, that is the best one. These lashes, I know I've talked about them, and I'm gonna talk about them again. I know I'm late to the game, but they're so amazing. These are the Ardell Wispies, and I know they make a ton of different ones now, like Ardell Wispy Naturals, Ardell Dell Wispy, like double stacked Ardell Wispy Mink. This is literally the original Ardell Wispies. That's it right there. I love them so much. I can wear them on any day. If I'm wearing basically no makeup, I can wear them. If I'm wearing a full beat, I can wear them. They are just so easy to apply and the band is so comfortable that you will forget that you're wearing lashes. Like you will go in to rub your eye thinking you're not wearing makeup. They're the most comfortable lash I've ever worn in my life. Last skincare item, this is by Sinitas. Again, I talked about their foot cream earlier. This is the brightening peel pads. The reason I wanna talk about this is because I feel like these are a very universal thing in the sense of everybody I've ever recommended them to in my personal life, friends and family, they end up becoming, like it becomes a staple part of their skincare routine because it just changes your skin so much. I used to be covered in like freckles and like hyperpigmentation all over my face from being in the sun way too much. Growing up, I used to work at Planet Beach and I would tan at the tanning salon every single day. When I say every day, I mean seven days a week. And sometimes I would tan twice a day. Plus I would lay out in the sun with baby oil on me constantly and I did a lot of damage to my skin. And I had like little skin spots, like age spots, hyperpigmentation, freckles. I started using these and it completely went away. The difference it made is insane. And it's just a, honestly, I mean, 
what is it even technically? So on the back, it says a professional strength corrective treatment that utilizes a triple acid blend to brighten tone and reveal clear, radiant skin. So for me and my skincare routine, this is the one thing along with my moisturizer and my cleanser that I can not skip. If I don't use this for like three or four days, I can tell because I will start getting texture all over my cheeks and I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm gotta get back. I use this every single day. So they say to start off like three days a week. I now use these every single morning, no matter what, sometimes morning and night, because I've been using them for like eight years at this point. But I'm telling you, this is like my number one skincare product in my entire bathroom that I will not go without. And it's for all skin types. If you're looking for something to help clear up texture, brighten, this is this. Look no further. Next, we have my hydrating under eye primer. You guys, I'm not even talking about this for long. I just had to put it in there because when I was grabbing everything that I was going to talk about in this video, I was like, I cannot skip this because my hydrating under eye primer that I created is honest to God, a staple in my collection. Like if I use concealer without this, oh, I know the difference. I know it as I'm applying it and I know it after like several hours of wearing it. It is so obvious because this is so hydrating. It fills in fine lines. It feels so good also, just the way it feels. It's so cooling and the sensation is amazing. The way the concealer like tacks onto it and stays all day, it is unlike anything. Like even if I use a concealer that's not like my favorite concealer, this still helps it make it look better. Does that make sense? Helps it make look, helps it make look better? Helps make it look better, yes. <laughs> Okay, another Jaclyn Cosmetics lip product that I have to talk about because it's another thing that I cannot live without is my lip treatment. If you know, you know. Those of you who love this, love this. There's definitely like a ride or die following for my lip treatment. But again, I feel like not that many people know about it because of the fact that there are so many lip treatment and lip masks and overnight lip masks and lip balms and lip moisturizers out there that it can always kind of get like lost in the laundry, you know? But this right here, this lip treatment is so amazing. I can't tell you how many of these I have open in my house, probably over 10. I was like fluffing my pillows, and like fluffing my couch a couple of days ago and I found five of these in my couch cushions. I didn't find any money, I didn't find any change, but I found five of these because I'm just always using it and carrying it around my house. It's in my robe pockets, it's in my cardigan pockets, it falls out. It's so good, it's so moisturizing and I swear I struggle with really, really dry lips, really, really dry skin in general. This is incredible, no dry lips for me. Speaking of lips, last but not least, I. Get Get asked all the time what lip color I am wearing when I'm wearing this exact shade. It's like the second I apply it, I know that everyone online is gonna ask me what shade I'm wearing. So I figured I gotta talk to you about it. First things first, it's my lip liner in the shade Praline. It is like a really, really beautiful kind of berry mauve right there. So I will line my lips with that and then I will go in with the shade Be Brave, which is what I'm wearing right over top of it. I will swatch it so you can see right there. Like a really just beautiful, not too pale. I think that's why people love it so much is it's like a pinky mauve, but it's not too pale and it's also not too brown. It's also not purple. It's like a very neutral pinky tone, but those two together just look so beautiful and so complimentary to so many different eye looks and blushes. So, oh my God, I realized I didn't put blush on today. <gasps> that's so weird. Okay, you guys, that's it. I actually have a couple more products I wanted to talk about, but I'm like, this video is too long and I'm stopping. Like I'm stopping, I'm done. I can't do it because it's just, oh my God, wait, no. <gasps> ah, I have to talk about a couple more. These slippers. Ah, I don't even know if they're available anymore, but these slippers are so cute. They're from Amazon. I know they look just like the, like Justin Bieber Drew ones, but they're so comfy and you guys know I am a slipper aholic. I have so many and these are so cozy and squishy. Oh, I love them. And then also I have like eight other things, but I'm not gonna talk about it. Only one more. And that is Nike Ducks, okay? They are definitely becoming like the trendiest thing right now. I think that dunks, as crazy as it sounds, are actually kind of starting to take over Air Forces. All the celebrities are wearing them and they're kind of hard to find. I'm gonna find the best link for you guys to find Nike Dunks. The thing is you have to be okay with buying men's because like, for instance, you can find these in kids, women's and men's and they all look the exact same, but you have to know your sizes in kids and men's and women's, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's like the sneaker game is no joke. It really is. You, sometimes you kind of feel like you're like doing some sketchy shit trying to get a pair of sneakers out there, but <laughs> I love my Dunks. They are so, 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 so comfortable. I actually bought them in so many colors recently. This lime green, oh my God, that is sassy. I love that. And then I also just got them in just plain white as well, right there which are so cool. But I just think that they're like an elevated kind of cooler version of Air Force Ones. 
uh, but again, it can be kind of difficult to find. So I will find some links for you guys. I will figure that out for you. I will put them down below and try to make it as simple as possible for my subscribers to go look at some Nike Dunks because they are so cool, so comfortable. And that's it, I'm done. I'm done talking, I'm moving on. I love you guys so much. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Everything will be linked down below. I hope you enjoy these products and anything that I didn't talk about in this video, any avenue of favorites, it can be snacks, beauty, skin, I mean, no, no matter what it is. Lounge wear, athleta wear, athleta, athletic, whatever. <laughs> please, you guys, leave your recommendations of things that are your current favorite must-haves, your current favorite things that you can't live without that are contributing into your life, into you feeling good, into you looking good, I would love to know. And I know everybody else here would as well. So that's it. I'm done talking. I love you. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.